Albanese opened the new year by backtracking on that massive election promise to deliver the stage three tax cuts in full. His government is defending the move, saying the revised cuts will target where the cost of living pain is most acute, middle Australians. Come on, James, is this decision watertight by Albo? No, I think... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what do we make of this? Once, twice, three times a liar. Mm. I think uh, we have a Prime Minister who clearly is trying to win elections but realises that he is trying to trade and buy votes. Let's just be really blunt about this. He is trying to buy votes in the middle class by giving them up in another class. And I think what we're saying here is actually just the typical embedded class warfare that you have from Labor. Um, and again, I think the, the misstep here was, like you said, he blew it up. He really could not have committed more hardly to these, you know, to these stage three cuts, and then simply to step back from them just gives such a uh, such an impression of lack of integrity. And I think that is the thing that the coalition will really fight hard now to say: How can you trust anything he says at this point? Well, the coalition is absolutely going to dine out on this, and so they should. Um, look, what irritates me, James, is that people now in Australia are, are really, really hurting with the cost of living crisis, uh, like really, really hurting. And Albo and Jim Chalmers, the treasurer, are sort of pretending that they're the best friend of the middle class by rejigging the lower uh, tax cuts. But they're just, you know, sliding in the fact that if these middle class people have any kind of aspiration to, to earn more money, or to save or anything, then they're going to be suckered with 37.5% tax um, when they hit 135,000, which nowadays is an income that actually doesn't stretch very far if you live in a capital city like Sydney, for instance. Uh, I mean, is this, is this lying by omission in your opinion? Oh, I, I think it's not even lying by omission. It's just full right, full throated lying. Mm. Um, let, let's be really clear here. Everyone is suffering, and there's this question that Albanese says, "Well, can he defend, you know, someone earning two hundred thousand dollars paying more tax?" And he is trying to weigh that up with the middle classes. The unfortunate truth is, everyone is paying more tax. Mm. Bracket creep is. There was a commentary this week that said bracket creep was more damaging than the interest rate rises to the common home. And again, in a place like Sydney, where even if you earn Earn an amount of two hundred thousand dollars, you can't necessarily afford a home um, with a mortgage. So again, we're talking about economic crises that are all coming together, and he thinks that tinkering in the tax system is actually going to be a solution. Mm, and like the the class warfare sort of you know undertones are, are really quite extraordinary. I mean, if it, um, which, which is again, sort of irrelevant in today's society and today's economy. I mean, if you look at the current top tax bracket, which is 180k per year, which Albo will raise to 190k per year, I mean, that, that gets taxed at 45%. That's nearly half. You add the Medicare levy to that, possibly the Medicare levy surcharge and any hex debt that those people might have, you're suddenly paying like 60 or more percent of your income to the government, which means that that sort of high income doesn't stretch very far at all if you have like one child and a house. Add to that the fact that when the 180,000 bracket came in, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it was around 2007 or 2008, if that were indexed, that top bracket nowadays would be 250,000 or more. I, I mean, it's, it's all these sort of hidden statistics that Albo is counting on to win middle Australia. Do you think it's going to work, James? I think honestly in the, you know, in the cost of living crisis that we are seeing at the moment, you have a government that is tax and spend, but unfortunately they're trying to do it by stealth. This is tax by stealth mm -hmm. and they're trying to provide you know, subsidies and programs to classes and electorates that they actually you know, benefit from and cut infrastructure in, in electorates and areas that desperately need it. And they are waging not just a class warfare, but a political you know, pork barrelling um, effect all across Australia. And they are doing that um, at the moment with some success. But unfortunately, I think, you know, they are becoming unflapped and we are seeing that they are not trustworthy.